It is not budging. Nope. We're not getting in this way. It is not budging.
Those dinky little legs finally given up on you, Scree? I mean, that's a lot of granite to be hauling. I shall rise above the personal insults and... S nice to have something you do rise above, Rocky, my boy. ...and simply caution you to slow down. I don't like the sound of this place. Okay. Sorry. I don't hear anything. Exactly. This village, this square should be bustling right now. It is a tough world to live in. The Wraith peasantry usually pack this place, scraping some way to survive. Why is it deserted? It's not. I don't like this at all. Now, when you're sounding scared, I know this is bad. Why can't we just once stumble upon a fairground or a birthday party? Just once. Get back. Hide now, Jen. Someone's coming. Uh-oh. We got company. Keep well hidden, Jen. This isn't going to be pleasant. Or a circus, an ice rink, a picnic in the park. Just once. But my dearest beauty, can't you simply smell their presence? Cowering, pathetic, filthy. Awaiting a glimpse of their masters to drool as we take up their sacrifice. The vermin. My lord, I have such pleasures awaiting you when we are clear of this nauseous place. The pleasure will be all yours, Ampusa, my deadly flower. So, let us to the business in hand. Ungrateful, ignorant race of rats! You think that is worthy of us? His blood could not energize a worm! We demand one, and to make it simple for your peasant skulls, one is the number that comes before two. One meager sacrifice from this village. But, as you know, a strong, worthy offering, a young, powerful man, or an athletic woman full of vigor. And what do we get? The rant of your pathetic litter! <sighs> now, before this infested pit causes my divine Empusa to vomit, we shall leave you to select your village's true sacrifice. Captain Valera will return shortly to collect the replacement. And never make this mistake again. My lord, come and see the look of sheer relief on this weary old man's face. Now that he has been spared. <laughs> what a joy. Ah. <sighs> So thankful and pathetic. It's his lucky day. Are you sure, my love, that you don't want me to pluck out an eyeball? A tall, for our little Elizabeth. No, 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 my beloved. Leave him his eyeballs. Just cut his throat. Dieses Haus dann schält die Utwer dort nicht an Ebil ab. Ab kaputt. Scree. That was awful. I'm sorry you had to see that, my child. Etha always was a perilous place. Now it's chaos at its worst. You know that pair? Count and Countess Raum and Ampusa. The Wraith aristocracy have always been evil, living in decadence while the Helots starve. But this is all new. Blood sacrifices. You see the way he moved? 
time shifting, Wraith's specialty. Along with good looks and charm. I can't watch and let them get away with that. First, we need to know exactly what is going on. There's someone who might know. Shall we follow him?
there's someone hiding down there. Leave here, now. That's wrong. No good. No good. It's okay. You're perfectly safe. We're not here to hurt you, we... Get away from there! Follow me, did you? We saw exactly what you saw in the square. We're here to help. Then close that trap door now, fool! Or you'll help these people to be slaughtered. Sorry for... But we are going to help you out of this. Duly and King, Abhub Pulyarab. Look, we're sorry. Scree here was just trying to... What right have you to talk to me? I will not speak with a corruption now. What are you doing here? And this is their good guy. You will talk to me, sir, and you will talk to my friend. You're in no position to turn away allies, believe me. You expect me to welcome strangers? <laughs> Her kind brought this upon us. Listen, I need you to tell me what these sacrifices are all about. Blood. Count Raum has been gifted with a dark science. He draws blood from my kinsmen to boost his own vitality. When the bell tolls, they take a sacrifice from our village. And they drink his blood. Vampires. And so we live in hiding, plagued by beasts unleashed on the village, haunted by the loss of our people, by the approaching toll of the bell. <laughs> Even haunted by the one aristocrat who tried to help us. I don't understand. A duke, opposed to the Count's godless ways, plotted secretly to help us. But he was finally unmasked and hanged, his bones forbidden our burial rites. The Count has turned his enemy into a phantom. Now, I must prepare for Valera's return. But I will never again ask one of my brethren to step forward. The next blood shed will be mine. If we can help it, the last sacrifice has already happened. We'll leave you to talk to your people in peace. I think we need to go to the heart of all this, the Count's Mansion. You must do nothing until we return. <laughs> 